Today we're going to look at Saxon Math 7-6, second edition, third edition, and fourth edition. And these are just going to be flip throughs because I haven't used these books, but I wanted to show you guys the difference between the three editions that I have here if you're interested in using Saxon Math 7-6. So this one here is the second edition, and it's just going to be a flip through, and I'm going to show you what they look like inside. So this is hardcover and it has about 300 pages a little over 300 let's see okay it's close to 400 pages in here it has 140 lessons and if you pause the video you can see exactly the things that are covered in here so here's the 140 lessons and this is what they look like. So here is lesson one. You'll notice that there is no box up here that has math facts or warm-ups or anything like that. It gets right into the new concept right away. So it goes on this page. Here's the practice problems and then the problem set which is 25 problems. It's short and sweet. It's less than two pages for the first lesson. So lesson two, again, we have the new concept, the practice, and then the problem set. That's just a little over two pages. Lesson three, it's just two and a half pages approximately. So that is how this book is laid out. It looks as though it is covering um, pretty much one new concept in each lesson and you will see in the other editions that they cover more concepts per lesson usually. I like how this is laid out. It doesn't look too overwhelming. So if I were this student, I would like this format. Just a simple lesson that I could read myself a practice problem or two and then the problem set. So I'll show you later on in the book. It follows the same pattern throughout the whole thing. So again this is the second edition and you'll notice that it does not contain the little parentheses that tell you what lesson to go back to in case you forgot how to do that problem. So this particular edition does not have the little parentheses and you will see those in um, the third and fourth edition when we get to those. Okay, so that's what this looks like. And then there are extra exercises, I think. Yes, back here. Okay, so that is the second edition, hardcover. And the third edition looks like this. It is also hardcover, hardcover and it's a lot thicker actually than the second edition. This one has over 700 pages. 740. So this has um, quite a few more pages than the second edition. So let's take a look at this one. I believe it also has 140 lessons, just like the first one. But you'll notice that there are more concepts covered per lesson. This has three concepts in lesson one, three concepts in lesson two, two here, two here, and then one for these. But I feel like there's more material covered in this edition. There's more concepts introduced per lesson. And there's something called investigations starting here in the third edition. There's investigation one, investigation two, and I'm not exactly sure what those are all about. If anyone has used this program, let me know in the comments below exactly what those investigations are. So let's take a look at lesson one here. Here we have our box to start off. So our facts practice, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fraction, facts, and problems that they look like, let me show you over here. 
they look like like this so you would do one of these every day so that is something missing from the second edition of math 7 6 so remember in the second edition it was approximately two pages to to go over everything in the entire lesson so the new concept the practice problems and the you know the problems they'd be working on took about two pages so let's see how long this takes for lesson one one two three four five pages so they're covering more material so instead of just one page of information to get them started here's one two three over three pages before the practice problems and then problem set one oh and this one also does not have parentheses to go back and see what lesson actually i think it might in lesson two let's check that out yes it does okay so in this book it does have the parentheses so if you forgot how to do the problem you can go back to that lesson and review that so lesson two let's see how long this one is we have one two three four four and a half pages of learning the new concepts and then the practice and then the problem set which is 30 problems so I don't know if it's because of the um, font being bigger in here, but I think there's more information packed in here from what I can see, and they're covering more concepts. So as I was looking through the editions, I felt like the second edition um, was covering the concepts like little chunks each lesson, and this is covering more each lesson. So that is what this book looks like. So it's similar, but a lot more. It's a lot thicker as well. And then there's some extra problems in the back, supplemental practice. So that's the third edition. And then I do have the test forms here and um, the answer key as well. So you would need these two pieces if you are getting the second edition as well. So let's take a look at the fourth edition and this is the latest one. So the latest edition, it's also over 700 pages. It's very thick and this is um, paperback, so it is not hardcover. So this one's interesting, it has 120 lessons so there's less lessons this also has these investigations so we have 120 lessons in here so I think they are definitely putting a lot of concepts per lesson in here so let's check that out So this also has the warm-up box with the facts practice and some problem solving and mental math. So new concepts. Look at all the concepts they're covering here. Let's see. Oh, there's three of them. Let's see how long they take to cover them. So one, two, three, three and a half pages to cover the new concepts. And then there's 25 problems. Lesson two has three concepts to cover. One, two, three, four, four, over four pages to cover the new concepts, and then 30 problems. Two concepts here. So that is what this book looks like all the way throughout. So I feel like the third and fourth editions are moving faster and covering more concepts. Overall, they're covering the same basic concepts, but I feel like there's more in these um, newer ones. And when you get the fourth edition, you would also get, you would also need the tests and worksheets here. So these are your fact 
weeks practice and this is nice because you don't actually have to print them out over and over again they're already ready for you and you just tear it out or just do it right out of here so this is nice to have it already printed for you and ready to go in this in this book here and then here's a test so this also is paperback and then we have our answer key our solutions manual for the fourth edition so those are um, the math seven six second third and fourth editions so I just thought I would share this with you guys in case you were interested in math seven six and you were curious as to what what was the difference between the editions and at least it as how they're laid out and what they look like so thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day